everybody. This is Pam and we're getting ready for day two of boot camp. Are you ready? Okay. I hope yesterday went well and you got all your white uh, pieces done. So today we are going to just distress ink all of our pieces and parts. So here we go. Hi everybody. Here's my tub with my pieces and parts from all the fun that we did yesterday. And everything of course is dry and I hope your pieces look good. And so today we're gonna do distress thinking, which is a no brainer. It's very calm and relaxing and peaceful. So I'm not gonna make a very long video. And if you're on the time crunch people and you know how to do it, you could just go and do your distress thinking. That's, that's the challenge I'm giving you today. Distress ink all your pieces. So for the rest of you, I'll do a little bit if you're new, in case you by some chance have not done this. Um, you want to trim off any excess if you did the decoupage. And I use um, vintage photo, but you can use any dark color. Really, you can use any color. And honestly, some of the dark greens would probably be really pretty on the edges since it's a spring journal. So, this is my dauber, and you basically just hit the edges, and I am honestly not that good at it. Sometimes I watch Tim Holtz do it, and he puts it down, and he goes like this at an angle, and it comes out just beautiful. When I do that, I get these big circles. <laughs> so what I do is I hold it up in the air, and it's easier if you have several at a time to give it a little bit of support. And I just hit the edges. And I do like a lot of edging, distress ink on the edges. If you don't, you don't have to put that much. Do however you like. And don't forget if you decoupaged yesterday, to take a sanding block, which I need to do on this one, and go over it, and it'll smooth it out and make it softer, because it gets really hard. Sorry for the noise. And it adds more distress to it, too. So it's smoother, feels better to your touch. You can also use an emery board like you file your fingernails with if you want to do that. Distress ink your pieces and parts. This is, see this loose paper here? You can either tear it off, which I'm going to do, or you can get go back and get glue and tack it down but you're probably gonna to wanna to do one of the two so it's not in the way bothering you. And then there are other applicators. I will show you, I bought a whole package of them and I don't like them. And this is this, this kind. And I'm, I use them on my colored distress inks, but the handle is so long and it's flexible and so I have trouble pressing it in hard enough and getting a really good uh, inking, but that that's just me. Here's a makeup brush, you can use those. Here's like from the dollar store, I got these triangle ones, you can use those. Um, if it dries out, you can use Distress Refresher that you can buy, or you can try putting mixing water and glycerin and just putting a little bit of that on it. And if you use, I have used a lot of Distress Ink, this, this photo, um, vintage photo. And so here's a re-inker. So I will show you that, like, just put a little bit of that on it and let it soak in. And that also, you get to a point where you need to do that. Okay. So... Make sure you've got both sides of every piece done. And honestly, that's it for today. So enjoy yourself and 
get all your pieces inked, and I will see you tomorrow for the next session. Bye-bye.